In this video, I will show you how you can use Nearby Share to share any files between your computer and your Android device and vice versa. First, let's set up the computer for Nearby Share. Launch any web browser and copy the link from the description and paste it on the search bar. You will be redirected to this Nearby software page. And as you can see, the software is currently in beta version. It only supports 62-bit version of Windows 10 or up. So just download the file by clicking on Get Started with Beta. Once the file is downloaded, just navigate to the Download folder and right-click on the file. Next, just run the same as an administrator. Next, you will see an installation pop-up like this and then a Google sign-in page will appear. Please keep in mind that the Google account for nearby must be same in both your Android and your computer. So sign in with your Google account and then give all the permission it requires to function. Once the sign in is successful, just close this window and go back to the nearby share. You can launch nearby share from the taskbar or from the notification area, which you can access by clicking on this arrow up icon as shown on the video on the nearby setup page you can give it a custom name and choose from the options who can share with you like everyone or your contacts or only your devices or just no one. For this example, I will choose to share only with my contacts and finally click on done to finalize the setup. When you land on this page, if it says to enable Bluetooth, then go ahead and enable the Bluetooth. Our computer setup is done finally Let's move to the next section of setting up nearby share on our Android device. So to begin with, launch the setting app and search for the nearby share. The first step is to sign in with a Google account. The same login credentials which you used during the nearby share setup in your Windows computer. Next tap on data and choose how you want to share your files, which is either using data, Wi-Fi, or you can even share without the internet as well. I will choose Wi-Fi for this example. Next, enable nearby share by tapping on this toggle and make sure that your mobile device and your computer both connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And finally, enable Bluetooth as well. Finally, the mobile setup is completed. Now, in order to send file from the computer to your mobile, launch in the nearby share and you can either share the file or you can share the entire folder. Navigate through the file manager and select whatever file or folder you want to share and then click on open. Nearby share will look for any nearby devices and after loading for a while, as you can see, the mobile device is detected and just tap on it to start the sharing process. Once the device is linked, it will show something like this on your Android device. The speed of it is quite fast, which I can say. Finally, the sharing process is over and we have successfully received a file from computer to Android device wirelessly. And the file shared is also working smoothly without any hiccups. Now, in order to share files from your phone to the computer, just launch any gallery app or file manager app and navigate to the files or folders which you want to share using nearby. Next, select it and tap on the share icon and then select nearby as shown on the video. The device will detect the computer and then you can proceed to share the files with the computer. And as you can see, the file is successfully shared with the computer. If you are still with me, kindly like and subscribe to my channel. Now back to the video, let us check the media shared is working properly or not. And as you can see, and the media is also running without any hiccups. Next, if you're using an Android device, Click on the playlist you will see next. Thank you.